Okay, uh, hello, uh, nice to meet you. I am uh, Roger Rubio Gomez. I am a coffee specialist. I am a coffee coffee taster, coffee copper, and a coffee roaster. Uh, today, I'm gonna explain you about our single uh, single origins from Cafe Quindío. Yes. So we are gonna start with our best seller coffee. This is the gourmet coffee. Uh, this is uh, this is from our region. Quindío is a department that uh, there there are uh, 12 municipalities or 12 towns. So this coffee is from the is from the best region from Quindío. Okay, so what is the profile? You're gonna taste chocolate, a very very clear and important chocolate is the deep profile. So this is the deep gourmet. All every all our coffees are medium roast. Yes, and that is the important that they, we are very careful about the the roasting. Yes. So here we have the Genova. Genova is a single origin. Yes. Genova is a municipality, it's a town from here in Kindi. Yes, it's in high altitude, above meters. Yes, so this profile is very citric, high acidity, uh, fruit, a uh, taste you, you're gonna feel like fruits, a lot of fruits. Yes, and the other one is the organic coffee. This is the organic coffee. Uh, we have the, the organic brand. Where this is, this is, this is uh, from Quindío. Yes, all our coffees are from Quindío. So uh, you're, you're gonna and actually the, the packaging. Yes, is like in a paper. In a special, we are uh, ensuring the environment with this organic coffee. It's very interesting. You're gonna you're gonna taste the uh, red fruits in this, like. Cherries, berries, cranberries. Yes, these are our main coffees: organic, gourmet, and Genova coffee. Yes, for sure. Here we have our uh, coffee grower. Yes, Bernardo Torres is our uh, coffee grower that uh, provides us about uh, this Genova coffee. Yes, you can you can see here his photo, and here. We have like a very very exotic varieties that are Borbon Rosado and Java. We have here actually the Java. Yes. This coffee, that, uh, these are two exotic varieties. Yes. So here uh, you're gonna feel in Java or Java, you're gonna feel like a sugar cane like herbal like uh, you're gonna you're gonna feel like a, a cream body yes it's a very exotic uh, variety but this coffee is not a, a is is produced here in Quindío at the region and the other one is Bourbon Rosado we used to call like pink Bourbon or orange Bourbon you're gonna feel in this coffee you're gonna taste uh, like a uh, red fruit, floral, and you're gonna feel you're gonna you're gonna feel a lot of flowers, a lot a lot of flowers. It's very soft coffee. It's a soft coffee, and acidity is like is citric, like lemon, like orange. It's a very exotic uh, coffee also. The varieties, the 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 coffee tree is uh, was was discovered in Bourbon Rosano, Africa. And Java is discovered, was discovered in Indonesia, Indonesia. Yes, in uh, Java Island. But yes, the, the coffee uh, around uh, 100 years ago, the coffee, they, uh, they discovered the coffee in Indonesia and Africa. But they moved the coffee to Colombia and they uh, started to grow the coffee in, on our plantations. Yes. So, but it's 100% a Colombian coffee. Yes. And the last one, is, we have another special special edition. 
is the pacamara. Pacamara is a mix between pacas variety and maragohipe variety. So it's a huge bean, it's an interesting profile. You're gonna, you're gonna taste a creamy body, high body, low acidity, uh, and uh, hot hazelnuts, uh, peanuts, caramel, it's an interesting profile. And the, 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 the coffee bean are very, very, are huge, huge, uh, the whole bean. They're good plants, uh, they produce in a lab, in a genetic lab. So this only is like pacamara, but but uh, it's something like uh, the father and the mother is like father, pacas, a variety from El Salvador, and maragohipe is another variety from Brazil. Yes. And the last one here we have like something very uh, okay. We roast our coffees in our main factory here in Quindío, in Armenia city. But this is a new, uh, like a new project we started yesterday, and it's like artesian, artesian roasting. So what is the purpose? The purpose is to roast in our uh, small batch uh, roaster, yes? What is the idea? If, if the customer wants to drink a very, very, a, the freshest coffee, we can roast, we can uh, ask, for example, this coffee, we roast this coffee yesterday, yes, December 13, yes, 2018, yes, and here we have how, how, how you want, if you want ground or whole bean, if you want a light roasting degree, medium roasting degree, or high or dark roasting degree and here there are uh, around 250 grams and uh, it's like a fresh roasted 100% Colombian coffee for you it's like our slogan I don't know how to say slogan in, in English slogan slogan yes it is our slogan uh, and it's very art artisan uh, product we roast three or four times per day Yes, and this is like our artesian coffee. It is a very interesting coffee. You can feel the chocolate, the caramel, sugar cane. Mm. Yes, it's, it's interesting. Yes. How long do the beans stay fresh in the bag if they have not been ground? Okay, uh, whole bean or ground, or, gra or ground coffee? Whole bean. What, what we recommend in a special uh, packaging with the valve, with the valve valve, with, the, with this with this valve, is around one month, two months. Once you open, what I recommend is around 15, 20 days. Yeah. If you're gonna use for espresso, you can degas in the coffee two, four weeks. But if you're gonna brew, you're gonna use Chemex, uh, Aeropress, uh, V60, uh, three or four days after the roasting process. Yes. For brewing coffees, I suggest the freshest coffees. And for espresso, I suggest degassing around two or three weeks. Depends that where you are living. For example, Bogota, the Colombia, the capital, the main uh, city from Colombia, is uh, is, is a higher altitude than Armenia. So, if you have if you have a coffee for espresso in a high altitude, you need more days to degas the coffee, degassing the coffee. I started as a coffee taster at 12, 12. No, I think next in, on on July maybe 14 years ago. I started when I was uh, 19 years old. I started, my, my career is a, a food technician and a international business manager. I studied and I used to, to work coffee in Saudi Arabia last year. 
I was in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh and Jeddah, working in specialty coffees uh, around two years. So here we have the, the real, the real uh, coffee tree. Yes, this is like a Colum Colombia variety. Yes, so here we have the red cherry, and it's the way how the coffee farmers, how the coffee producers, they pick the cherry. So they, in farm, they used to to separate this. Here we have two coffee beans, and then they remove like the mucilage, yes, the mucilage, the honey, and then they process the coffee uh, 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 on in, in they dry the coffee through the sun yes so here this is like a a, a, a cherry yes this is like a immature or green cherry here in Colombia we pick only the red cherries that's the reason that our coffee is the best coffee around the world because we uh, our coffee producers they are get used to pick only this coffee if you want to pick and to try don't worry and you can it's, it's sweet like mm. Mm? so only the dark is red not the ones that are long yes this is only only the, the the red one only the red one because for example this this is this is it's in, it's not a it's raw it's, it's very raw it's not it's, it's uh, immature like this yes like this color yes for coffee cherry uh, around 24 months from uh, smaller than red the red one cierto que cuando toma de, desde cero hasta que ya está desde que crece 24 meses 24 yes it's, it's like two years yes. here we have the drum we check that is that is, is working yes and here we have the mixer this coffee the green coffee is low humidity moisture yes. and then the coffee gets uh, like a green yellow green yellow and then you you're gonna feel like vegetable like a, a smell yes so we are gonna really much this is like a, a sample yes so we can and it's very important to check time in order to see how it's uh, conserving all the athletes the coffee. Yes. So here we have one minute. And then for example here you can smell like potato. It's not sweet. Why? When the coffee gets cracking, gets cracked like popcorn, is when it starts to develop all the sugar. Okay, yellow color, right? And top for it. Yes, it's like peanuts, peanuts, hazelnuts. It's more like like a dry fruit. Okay, we have six minutes. This stuff is, is gonna start to first crack or first pop. Is when the when the when the coffee starts to pop, pop, pop. You, you, can, you, uh, you can hear. Smelling starts like caramel, vanilla, all the sugars 
inside the coffee. Wow. A natural melon and it's, the, it's developing natural chemicals. Nine minutes. Right now. 